So clearance. another limiting area is the facility clearance. Yeah. And you have to have two employees in order to qualify for a facility clearance. Mm -hmm. Now anybody could, before anybody could sponsor you and you would get through the process and it was still laborious. But, um, but now they require you to have two employees on an opportunity before a company can sponsor you. Yep. And make that part of your requirement. I will give you this intelligence, yeah. but part of our teaming agreement is not only are you going to bring me on as a sub, but you're going to sponsor me for this facility clearance exactly. that I also need. Exactly. And so these are, are other <laughs> you know, techniques that you can utilize because there are things you have to get as a business in the government space, ISO. Yes. You know, uh, we just went through the ISO 20,000 process. Do it while you're small, because yes. when you're small, there's a whole lot less, less processes less. that you have to bring to bear in order to get that certification. ISO 9000, ISO 20,000, um, CMMI, all of these things are certifications that you can um, tell a larger prime, hey, I'd like you to help me get these things. I will bring the opportunity, but I need these things. And they're also going to become requirements as you start priming. Yep. And so you really need to start reading opportunities now reading you know statements of work and they come through fed biz ops all the time you can set up the search criteria that a little send you emails and um and so start reading those and and looking at what do they require so when you're looking at it from a perspective of it's not just about past performance sometimes it's the certification sometimes it's the facility clearance yep. and put together identify those gaps that you have and put together a plan in order to get those other um, aspects in, that you will need to prime in the future.